Test, test. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Test. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Sorry. Um, right. Hello, everybody. Hello, oh, that guy. Hello, everybody. Uh, what? Oh, you're. Oh, you're. You're. Um. Oh, you're blocked. I says webcam in ten minutes or so on Twitter. Some last they replied we so. God. A piano, guitar playing, music, movie loving, random, excitable Pisces. What's for you? What's for the what's for the Yale? No, go by ye. You know she's writing in a traditional Scots dialect, Scots. Uh, language. Hello, Rachel. A piano, guitar, playing. I love hearing that sort of stuff because when I hear that they play the piano or the guitar or something like that, what does that mean? I don't mean by itself, I mean following them giving me cheek. What does that mean? What does that push your parents? No. Glad to hear it, Rachel. I'll be talking about that in a, in a minute. They're in the business, says so is uh, saying what slugs I kinda. The main thing is that they're putting themselves out there in a way. So hopefully I can then look at them on YouTube and then go like that. So so you're a, you, you, you've got a thing coming up, you're, you play the piano, so, you play, you play the guitar, so, you're shite. And that's it. Lemmy's making a big time tonight, says Ken Cosgrove. Let's talk about it, let's get some, let's get some fucking party tunes on, none of this kind of Newell land band stuff. Let's get, let's talk about, I straight up on a network, I've been networked. We'll talk about things like the fact that we're at half past midnight, we'll, we'll get rid of that. Let's get some party tunes on here. Uh, party tunes. Party tunes, you Okay. <coughs> Brother Jack. That's me made the network, everybody. Big time. I'd rather Jack. So I'll do is have a good time. Any other way, no one ever asks for our opinion. No, no, we don't get a say. FM or the jazz, we'd rather sing along with yes. What happened to the radio? They never play the songs we know. Going on these rolling stones, we don't want the back. I'd rather jack than flee with back. Heavy metal, rock and roll, music from the past. I'd rather jack than flee with Mac. I'd rather jack. Name El County, okay. Let's get down to business. Let's turn this down. So. That's me on the network, that's big, that's it now, that's, uh, that's big time now. Big time now, that's it.
you. Yeah. Morning Network, so see this. If you go one of them, man. Because I'm on the fucking network, mate. No, man. If you got a fucking note for the Royal Bank of Scotland like that, man. Muzzy dog, Muzzy dog says tear it. No, 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 no. I don't burn money. Mate, I earn it. And I save it. And I don't spend it. So that I can hold it up in front of you. That's a real £20 note. Have a wee dream. Have a wee daydream right now. What look at that man. Just in case any of you are down south and you are thinking, that's not a real twit. That's a real. As Michael McIntyre would say, legal tender! <laughs> I shouldn't be slagging off Michael McIntyre because uh, we're stable mates now, no? We're stable mates now. Networked and all that, no? Shouldn't be having a laugh at Michael McIntyre. Guy does a good job. I do my line of work, he does his line of work. Never the twin show meet, you know? So, uh, I'm on the network. That's. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that. I feel, I feel great. So, uh, <coughs> how does this change the relationship between me and you, the fan? You might not like to call yourself a fan. You might be like, I'm not, no, no, I'm not a fan. I just like your stuff, like you. I'm interested in you and want to be with you in some fucking way. Like maybe sit next to you in a pub for like a minute. Just kind of lean there and go just by the way. Just what I say, let me. I like your stuff. I like a sketch where the guy uh, sticks a, la a laptop where the guy see that. Some of the stuff isn't he? Some of the stuff isn't he brilliant. But the stuff that is brilliant is brilliant. And uh, listen, I'll let you get back to your drink, and they, s and they don't go anywhere, they're right fucking there, right next to your latch. Cheers, mama. And I say to the people, take that, man. Take that, that's the only fucking money I've got. Bit of shears. Shears. That's £20. <coughs> £20. Some of you are saying it's fake. Right, well, this is a wee bit more believable. Is that tenor? That's real. The 20 is obviously fake, right? Obviously, I've not got a 20 quid note, but that's real. That is real, that one. Tenor. Okay, Miss Shiro says you have 30. No, that's the, the 20 is a fake. I printed that out just for a wee laugh. This is the real deal. That really is a tenor there. Here, if any of want to see the 20, just for a template. If any of want to print out your own 20s. I'll hold it like that, right, so you can take a screenshot and then print it out. Take that into a fucking bank. Print that out, scale it up, enhance it. Wait a minute, it's a wee bit off. Take it a wee bit. Take it a wee bit further. Where is it? He's got it. A wee bit further. Still a wee bit. Out. Where are they? Wait, wait a minute. So that's facing me. Right, there, there it is. There you go. Right, take a screenshot. And here's the other side. Right, take it into a bank. What your best today is no actually use it. <coughs> Don't actually use it to buy it. And t you're best to take a lot of them into the bank and then get them changed into real 20s. Just go into a bank and say, can I change these for real 20s? 
they'll swap it. Don't, in fact, don't say real 20s, just say, can I swap these for other 20s? Don't say, say, uh, say you don't like the numbers. See the numbers at the top there? See you don't like them, they're not your numbers. Just say, they're not my numbers. They'll want to go like that, what do you mean they know your numbers, but they're not allowed to ask you sort of questions anymore. Because I think it's all kind of PC, you know that. So, it's up to you how you want to do it. You can actually buy things with it, but if you want to spend all your fucking time taking a 20 quid and spend it on a bowl of soup, taking a 20 and then going somewhere else, because if you've got if you're going like that, imagine you go into a shop and imagine you go into a shop, one shop, and you go, can I have some batteries? Give them a twenty to give them change, and then you go like, in fact, can I also have a screwdriver? And you pay with another twenty, and they go, they would say, just why don't you just give us the ten, you know, for the change of the? You'd have to go all about the place on that. And, and it's all a matter of time before somebody's on to you, somebody who was maybe watching a webcam and they're fucking printing them out. I'd say just go all in and go to a bank and just fucking go double or nothing. Either I'm fucking walking out of here, a millionaire, or I'm fucking getting carried out in a fucking body bag. All in. It's almost too easy, says Slothagus. It is too easy. Getting back to the, the reason why I've got us fucking 20 is because I have got the fucking attitude of thinking this is a lot of businessmen will tell you this. Some of the top businessmen and business women, like uh, the body shop one that's deep now, she'll tell you. <coughs> that a lot of people don't bother going through with their business ideas because it's, they go like, can it be this easy? Can it be this easy? But it is. So many ideas, so many ways to get rich. And you go like that. No, it can't be that easy. It is that easy. The biggest obstacle in your way to success is your pride and your lack of self-belief. That's what it is. And the main thing is your pride. See, in America, do you know that? Do you know what? All of them start businesses and they fail. Start another one. Fails. Start another one. Fails. Start another one. And they get somewhere. Here, people don't want to do it because they're scared they'll fail and if they see the people who they fail here a lot of them just go like, well that's it, I'm not good at this you keep doing it, keep doing it until you succeed so um and that's the attitude I had that has fucking got me on the network now that's why I'm on the fucking network now I can't believe I'm saying it on this I can't believe I'm saying any words Matthew Coleslaw says, are you that guy off the network? It's me, mate. It's me. Still doing the fucking webcams even though I'm on the fucking network. Can you believe that? This is what's got me on the network. This attitude. This attitude has got me on the fucking network. Mark says, your ego is too small. I don't think my ego is too small. I think it's just right. Like fucking uh, porridge. Goldilocks's porridge. Yeah. So, so let's talk about the nights. Uh, so what? What is it? What am I talking about? Half past midnight tonight on BBC Three, which is the network. Just you keep wait. It's a shame, shame. 
half past midnight. Best of me show. <coughs> Lend me your kettle as a shiter. No got a kettle in here. No got a kettle in here, it's an iron. It's an iron. Da fucking prick. <laughs> da fucking prick's been boggling his water in the fucking iron, pouring it out the tap like that in a fucking. In a, in a fucking tea bag in a cup. Jesus Christ. I thought, I thought, I thought that was a. I thought that was a kettle. It's, it's fucking. It's hot, isn't it? It's roasting. It's maybe roasting in the fucking inside, da. Aye, well. What? It's got the steam coming out. It's got, that's because you're pressing the fucking steam button, you fucking. Fuck. Dad, we're gonna put you in a home, alright? No. We're gonna put you in a home. It's when he said good. <laughs> you gotta just stick your fucking making tea with a fucking iron. Alright? I didn't know that. Well, he fucking has been. Oh wait, a cup of tea and he pulled it out the fucking iron. He pulled it out the fucking iron. <laughs> That's my fucking dad. My dad. My dad used to fucking... He used to run a factory. <laughs> he used to run a factory with five other fucking men and that. He used to fucking run the show. Down the pub, he fucking held court. They couldn't hung in every fucking word. He's making a cup of tea up. Funny. It's too funny! <laughs> Fuck! Stick him in a fucking home, I can't be other fucking sight of him anymore. That's not my dad. That there, that is not my dad. You're not my dad! You're not my dad! My dad never fucking made any tea, you fucking iron. <laughs> you fucking prick. Get your fucking home before I stick in a fucking mom. <laughs> oh, I fucking hate him. Oh, I hate him. I hate my dad. So tonight, half past midnight, half past midnight, so how do I feel about that, ideally it's on at 10, but it's on at half 12, so I don't, I don't know who's watching the telly at half 12, and especially who's watching the telly all the way up to 1. But there'll be somebody. Who knows? Who knows it could be? Who knows who it could be? Who knows? Who knows? Lemme mate, I swear to fuck you should make a spoof rap and make another persona like a rapping put gone. You learned a wee lesson there about typing big fucking paragraphs. You learn a lesson, a powerful, powerful lesson. Is it? A, it's Spreader says. Is it the best of all three series? Best of all three series and the pilot. There's one sketch for the pilot. Three for the first series. I got it wrong. Rob Christie, the, the, the uh, producer, corrected me. I said Rob Christie, the director, then almost because I checked on the fucking uh, one of the sketches for the first series the day the, the, the comedy and it's uh, Twitter link to, and it says director Brian Lemon, director Rob Christie. So, uh, no, 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 no. That was a, that was a, I made a right big fucking deal of that. I, I remember when the first when the first series DVD it was like some kind of fucking clerical fucking paperwork error and the producer Rob Christie accidentally had his name as a fucking director alongside me and I couldn't fucking believe my eyes. <coughs> um but we got it all sorted out. Will it have subtitles on BBC three? Of course. 
hell is it going to fucking... Right, so, BBC Three tonight. Let me just test out the volume here. Test, test, test. BBC Three tonight. Let me just test. That's all right. So we bit loud. We bit loud. So there's going to be one sketch for the pilot, three for the first series about. Something like 18 for the second series and 20 for the third, I think. So, um, see what people think. So, I'm gonna be up. Oh, fucking. Am I gonna be up half nine? It's, it's half nine just now. Half nine. Half ten, half eleven, half twelve. Three hours. Three, three and a half hours by the end of it. Of course, I should. So I can look into it and see if people are like, ah, the fuck is this? We guys and lasses are about 14 like that. I feel like fucking Doncaster. What's this? What's this shite? And I'll tweet and go my ah, it's this fucking shite. I fucking made that fucking shite. And I'm coming to fucking shite on you. What I need to do is to do something that really gets me right up. You know, like there was that, there was that whole thing with uh, Louise Mensch and this other Tory Christian fucking guy, and and uh, she made a big deal about fuck all. And I got a bit an extra fucking twenty odd. I, I was lingering about. Um, I was lingering about 12,000 followers for ages, and then that happened, I fucking rocketed right up by about 20,000. So what I need is another one of them. I need... Um, I need a... Uh, like... I think, like, I think, like, between half... Between uh, half twelve and one, I'll go on Twitter and check to see what people are saying. Like on, on my Lemmy column, I've got a column in TweetDeck, it just searches for my name. <coughs> so anybody saying, what's this Lemmy show? It's shite. You know, somebody from down south. I make sure it's like a lassie that's like 13 or something. Some pure order that I'd like a fucking guy, a 38 year old guy my age, just shouldn't be fucking about me, and I'll fucking publicly go like that, if I'm shit, you're fucking shit, you fucking idiot, and all that, so people say, this is, this is, this is wrong, people complain, oh, and I might, can I get some Tories, like, for, for an anonymous account, because the Tories hate the BBC, so if I just kind of tweet them, and go, if, you know, for an anonymous account, default egg, have you seen what this BBC guy is saying? And then they'll check me out. Pure, like, fucking, you know, bullying this wee lassie. And I go, this guy's got to be stopped. This guy's got to be stopped. He should not be on the telly. And then I'll go up by about 20 fucking thousand followers. And, because that's worth it's, that That's worth more than money and things like that. Now, how many followers you've got? This is what this is what this whole thing is. The BBC Three thing tonight. That's what it is. I wonder if I should change my profile to the star of I'm Brian Lemon, aka Lemmy Creative Lemmy Show. I wonder if I should BBC Three's Lemmy Show. BBC Three's Lemmy Show. BBC Scotland will be like that. You're a fucking prick. BBC Three will be like BBC BBC Scotland will be like you're a fucking asshole. We're the ones that took the chance for you. Who else would give something like you free reign to just direct your, your your first series? No idea if you're going to crumble under the pressure. No, no past experience. Just give it. 
we took that chance and you're saying BBC Three's and, I, and I'll say aye but you know I, I smell on BBC Three now you're on fucking half past midnight with a compilation episode son you're not on BBC Three you're on BBC Scotland with fucking three series a compilation episode at half past fucking midnight that they cunt's gonna watch isn't it you on BBC Three mate okay 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 is it only one episode yes it is so um so there you are hello good rangers man What well, Hitler? Good Rangers man, you know. Hitler was a good Rangers man. Um I listen. I the Pope covered up one or two things and all that, but he's a good Celtic man, you know. Aye, <coughs> Hitler for fuck's sake, Hitler wasn't perfect. Maybe it is. He was a good, ra- good Rangers man, you know. Hitler was a, you know, he was a good Rangers man. Hitler was a, uh, Hitler was a good Rangers man, you know. Do you know what came out? It came out after the Holocaust. That Hitler was a, was a Rangers man. He was a Rangers man. Aye. Gaddafi, say stop, Gaddafi, good Celtic sell- man, aye. Gaddafi, he's a good Celtic man. Hitler, he's a good Rangers man, you know. Hitler was a good Rangers man, you know. He came out after the Second World War, you know, after the the holler, the holler cost. What came out? Pol Pot. Paul Pot was a good, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, I had his faults, but he was a good Celtic man, you know. Good Celtic man, took the reins to the Celtic, uh, Celtic games, you know. See uh, that, what's his name? That's Stalin. That's Russian. Well, it's, it's strictly speaking, he was a Georgian. The Soviet. Good Rangers, man. See the guy who makes the drones that kill uh, Waynes in the Middle East? Good Rangers, man. It came out, he's a good, ran- good Rangers, man. Takes the Waynes to the, uh, the Gels game. Yeah. Speak to that one. <coughs> I was speaking to Hitler two weeks ago and he said uh, he said it's a, it's a lot of shit it's uh, stuff that you know, it's no other medals it's a previous company and all that you know previous Rangers only been gone for two years Rangers is a football club is Hitler speaking Hitler was like Rangers is a football club first and foremost it's a football club and a business setting, we've been going for, you know, uh, a long time, you know. He's a good Rangers man. I was speaking with, um, I was speaking with uh, Nelson Mandela. Turns out he's a good selling man. And he said to us, that, uh, that league title wasn't he tainted? Wasn't he tainted? We won fair and square. We won fair and square. What's the tainted? So, tonight is the night. It's... It's uh, on the network, you know. On the network, no. That's how I drink my drinks in pubs.
He's a good sailing man. He's a good rangers man. A good sailing man. A good rangers man. A good sailing man. A good rangers man. I was speaking to him last night. He's a good rangers man. Everybody's giving him a hard time, but he's a good rangers man. So there you are. What's um, what's happening in the world of pop? What's happening in the world of pop? Any good songs? Oh shit! The good thing about being uh, having a wane is that you you listen to some current music. And some it's good. Well, I like it anyway. Jesus album out. Is that Kanye West? Jesus. Uh, I'm touchy. Touch you. It's a Jesus was pretty amazing. I don't like Kanye West. I don't like his music. I did. I did like. Was it? Was its name though? Um, uh, Gold Digger. I don't know if that's what it's called, but that one. There's a track on there called "I Am God." See if, let's just, some people are forgetting about this. If Kanye West was English or British, he'd be a Tory. Just keep that in mind, just think about that. He'd be a Tory. He'd be a Tory. There you are. There's something to think about. Right, has Kanye West got a new song out? A new single? Because I want to listen to it right now. Right, what is that called? Black Skinheads is good. What's the name? Right, I'll, I'll have to look up myself because I'm not getting there. Is that the name of the new Black Slaves? It's called New Slaves. It's called New Slaves. Kanye West Jesus album all songs, and this is on. This is this is on his um this is posted the, the day. What's this? Pull up in park the bins. 
Fucking shut up. Fucking shut up and fuck off. Let's get some real fucking music on there, man. Fucking real music on there, man. Fuck was that? This is real fucking music, this. I don't know, that annoyed me. That annoyed me. What was he even saying? There's only, there's only one rap song I like. This is it. Coming up. Here it comes. Here it comes. Forget this. This is a fantastic rap song here. This is my favourite rap song, personally. Who's this? Taurus says, who's this? Here is the best rap song I've ever made. Listen. Okay, I said that. Huh? Imagine fucking breakdancing in that man. And then singing it, that had never been done. That had never been done. The power of fucking miles ahead, man. This fucking uh, Kanye West. Fucking asshole. This, Rachel says, this is real hip hop. I said that. It's never, it had never been done before. What, what was, uh, I'll turn it off just so I can talk to you about it. What was really pioneering about it? That's right, Rachel, that you took the words out of my mouth there. What was really pioneering about it was one, it was rap, uh, Rap had sort of been done before, but this was rap, and people, uh, th th this was rap, and then singing at it, so you know how new nowadays you get um, Pitbull and Christina Aguilera, and then they'll say all the Mr. Worldwide stuff, you know the whole rap song thing, that's an actual category, an awards category, and I think, 
the new music, I, I can't remember what it's called, it's an American thing anyway, but it's an actual category, an American, uh, some American awards, best rap stroke song, song, you look it up, best, in fact, we'll look it up right now, best rap song, eh, rap stroke song collaboration, Grammy Award, there you go, take a look, there, there you go, look, Grammy Award for Best Rap Stroke Song Collaboration. That exists because of Tipow, because of Carol Decker. That hadn't it been done before. Nobody even thought it could be done by the... And what you get now is you get the, like the woman singing it. You get the guy going, like, they name the producers at the beginning, like Red One, Dark Child, and all that. Then you get a bit of rapping, or maybe the singing, then it gets straight into the rap, and then for the chorus there'll be a bit of singing with the rapper saying, highlighting some fucking words and phrases said in, in the chorus. <coughs> forget about Rapture, forget about Rapture. Rapture doesn't count. Rapture did that way. Uh, rappers and all that, that was... That was done with something else. That was another thing. Uh, that was something else. Right. Just forget about that. No, forget about that. But what Carol Decker and the Tipow team brought to the fucking... Kind of brought into the consciousness of everybody else. Was that... It doesn't have to be a woman singing it, and then you got a guy rapping. She did the lot. You got the rapping voice. That was that was that was that was high high down. Oh, you've got the singing area where she goes like this, na 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 na, and then the chorus. <laughs> And you can hear her still rapping underneath it. Listen. Listen. And listen to this. You can hear her saying, give a little bit of heart and soul, underneath her singing. Uh, that had they been done before. Listen. Yeah. It's still there. It's here. That hadn't been done before. It hadn't been done before. You don't know what to listen to, you don't know what to listen to. It, it benefits from repeat hearing repeat listening because you miss bits, you have to go at it, the mind can't take in what she's rapping about and what she's singing about and then in the chorus she's singing it and you also get the fucking rapping, the mind can't take it in one go, how many fucking songs can you say that about, how many songs can you say that about, I don't know that you miss some things because you obviously will with that, but you need to listen to it again. You need to listen to it again. Because the mind can't take in that much. Was this before the one rap? This was after it, but they were not this was a I so here's here's the extra thing that they don't they don't really want you knowing. They don't want you thinking about when this came out people were like that rapping and listen to the voice. Is she black? That's what everybody was saying. Is she black? She must be, because this is fucking amazing. Turns out, not only was she white, not only was she English, but... Let me hear you say it. Ginger! That's right, my left ball. Ginger! She was a ginger woman. 
It's a Ken John woman. Who is this? It's a Ken John woman. America tuned in to see what this fucking new sound was. And they saw it and they went, why have they put this video? They've put the wrong video in. But no, they could see that she was fucking singing along with the words. Carol Decker. Plus her eyes are quite close together. She's like that. If you can watch the video in your own time and you'll see her dancing about there in a way there was a style of dancing that, that she invented she's kind of sliding about the flare and it hasn't been done since because nobody was able to fucking do it a ginger a white ginger forget about Marco more and all this fucking these new ginger cunts coming through then the rap back then Think of the fucking obstacles that, sh that were in her way. I know things were hard for fucking black folk in America and all that, right? I know that. But think of being... Trying to get into rap, right? Trying to fucking break some kind of mould that was already... Like, like here's what I'm taking for your rap and I'm actually going to change it a wee bit. I'm going to do something new to it. Think of the fucking confidence you would have to have to be able to say that. When you are not only white, but a woman, and you're ginger, and she did it, and then you had that Gary Barlow a few years ago fucking laughing at um, a, who was it? Um, Amelia Lully sang "China in Your Hand," and he said, unlike Carol Decker, that was in tune. And then remember, Carol Decker was saying something about it in Twitter. Fucking dare that that Tory put her down. What did he ever do? What did Gary Barlow ever do that really broke the mold? Think about all the take that hits. Most of the fucking hits, all bar about two, were other people's songs. No his. And there she was. Fucking scumbag man. Gary Gary Barlow is a complete fucking asshole. And anything that was really good was done by Robbie Williams. All the good ones were Robbie. So was Robbie. Saying that again because I keep seeing him on the fucking piano. Dickhead. We've said goodbye to taxi cab in Now Oh, it's good that Gary and fucking Robbie are pals again. The only reason Gary can be pals with fucking Robbie is because he got successful again, I'm talking about Gary Barlow, and because Robbie appeared to be having mental health problems. That's the only way a prick like Gary Barlow can be fucking pals with a decent guy like Robbie Williams. Only if he finds out that Robbie has actually got mental health problems. Oh, that's right, so I've kind of won in a way, because I, I, I'm not like that good Robbie's feeling bad. That, that's, that's him kind of doing to my fucking level. I'm doing well, we take that, I completely fucked up the solo thing, but I'm going to grab fucking Jason and Howard and Mark, and we will do that. Only when he's doing well for himself he can be happy and actually meet Robbie again. 
and Robbie being the decent guy he is just wants just wants to get on he's happy to just Gary Barlow bullied Robbie Williams relentlessly a horrible nasty wee prick horrible I'll never forget it and another thing Gary doesn't matter how thin you get mate you are a fat bastard you are a fat bastard does they matter if you get down to fucking seven stone, mate? We all know who you are and what you are. It's only a matter of time before you get fat again. It's only a matter of time. We all know it. This is just a phase. Just a phase. You'll be back. The real you. Sad face is yawn. Who gives a fuck about any of them? Don't come on here and say yawn. That's a band for life. Fucking... T it doesn't matter if you don't care about Robbie Williams or Gary Barlow. Their story is... Um, a parable. About the whole thing. But the whole... The whole game. The whole thing. Like what I'm doing. BBC3 on the network and all that. <coughs> There'll be cunts who'll be like that. Comedy cunts about, I can't speak with him now. Can't end that. Don't like him anymore. I know. I, I, oh, nothing. What is it? I, I, just, I just don't like him anymore. Is it because he's on the network now? In prime time slot at 12 past midnight? Uh, half past midnight? And they'll be saying, No, it's nothing to do with that. No. Is it because he's prime time network? Half past midnight? The blah. No. Just think he's, he's, he's a prick. How's he me a prick? How? Because he fucking is. He's just some things he says. Like what? Like what? Aye. Right, maybe it's a bit of a day with the BBC3 thing, the half past midnight um, prime time slot. What's your problem? Because it should have been me. It should have been me. Walking down the aisle And as he passed me by He turned to me And gave me a smile Then the preacher Then the preacher Hey everybody The preacher joined their hands Half past midnight Half past midnight. People began to stand when I shouted, It should have been me. <laughs> oh, it should have been me. You know, it should have been me. Baby, how can you do this to me? You made a promise. See you at half twelve.
see you at half twelve, everybody. Half past twelve, everybody. Right, everybody, see half twelve. Everybody see you at half twelve. Everybody will see it hot well. BBC three. Doesn't get much better than that. Doesn't get much better than that. Tune in at half past midnight tonight, BBC Three, best and let me show for a haunting compilation. Haunt you later. Haunt night.